Now we're going to look at validating emails. Now this is a, a very simple task that some people like to make difficult for whatever reason, I don't know to be honest. Uh, here's what I did. I created a valid email variable and I assigned it to a valid email. Then I created an invalid email and assigned it to hello world, which obviously isn't a valid email. I then created is valid which is equal to preg match and we have this super long regular expression and then we pass in the valid email and below here we're just saying if it's valid echo valid email provided else blah 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 so if we go to our browser and hit refresh we get valid email provided which is correct this is a valid email if we pass in this variable instead so invalid email we're going to get invalid email provided so this is fine, everything is working, right? Well, it works, but it's not the way that I would go about it. Not only is this super, super unreadable, but it also makes a difference in speed. It's not a super significant speed difference, but it does make a difference, especially if you're run, running more than one expression. So I'm going to replace all of this with just one function and we're not going to use any regular expression at all so we're going to say filter var we're going to pass in the email and then we're going to pass in a constant filter validate email and this tells PHP that we want to check if this is an email so now let's go to our browser hit refresh valid email provided perfect this is a valid email replace it with invalid email refresh invalid email provided so this is a much more clean much more readable, much faster way of going about validating emails.